Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Downward Thrust. This is Tone Loke, and I've completely lost my mind. Actually, I'm being quite serious. I cannot believe Bethesda has once again messed up this game. This time, there are controversies with the atomic shop, go figure, and something called implied scarcity and using false advertisements and false discounts. So what's happening here? Well, they just put up a whole bunch of new items for sale, bundles and holiday stuff and Saint Nick and Christmas stuff aplenty. But instead of listing it for a just a base price, it's labeled as 50% off. In the case of this holidays emote bundle, or 33% off with the good old fashioned coming to town bundle. You may ask yourself, what's so wrong with a bundle being 50% off? Isn't that good? Yeah, that would be good. If it was ever for sale at the listed price of, in this case, 2,400 atoms. But it has not been that price, has it? No, what Bethesda is basically doing is this marketing tactic of putting discounts on items that were never sold for the item that they were discounted from. It's like when you go into a mall and you wanna buy a t-shirt and it says 50% off. Maybe it's uh, $10 and the shirt says $5, 50% off. But the thing is, the shirt is always 50% off. It never sells for $10, it always sells for $5 with that exact same sign on it that says 50% off. It is a lie, and in fact a crime in our legal system to showcase sales for items that were never intentionally going to be sold for anything but that discount. So I did a little bit of snooping, and I did find some information regarding deceptive pricing I'm going to link this article down below in the comment section. This is going to be a pretty interesting read if you guys want some more information. First and foremost, beyond the false advertisement and the use of fake sale signs, is 1,200 atoms a fair price for the holiday emotes bundle, which is 12 emotes to help you share holiday cheer. Now you can spread joy with your friends as you spread mayhem in the wasteland. Happy holidays from Bethesda. 1,200 atoms. I can't buy 1,200 atoms. I guess I have to buy 1,500 to cover the cost of an item that was specifically made to fall between these two price points so that I have to buy a little bit extra. It's a common marketing technique to squeeze a little bit more money out of you. And that's $15. $15 for emotes. When in fact your game is going on sale right now for $30. So what you're telling me right now, Bethesda, is that for half of the price of the game, you want me to shell out for 12 emotes. That is unacceptable. Shame on you. Check out this one, coming to town, the bundle. Unlock it for 2,000 atoms. Discounted down from 3,000, but in fact it was never sold for 3,000 atoms. It's just 33% off because it's always gonna be 33% off. Guess who's coming to town? I'll tell you who's coming to town, it's Bethesda and they want your money. 2,000 atoms, hmm, how much is that? $20 for pretty much the entire cost of the game you can get yourself Mr. and Mrs. Claus's outfits with a wearable beard. Oh my God, that must have taken a lot of effort to render a beard. You also get some icons, a red rocket mega sign, 1400 atoms. You're telling me that I have to give you $15 to buy a sign in a video game that costs 60 to $200. Do you want to know why Fortnite is so successful, Bethesda? It's not because they're doing anything different than you. It's because their game is free. And people don't mind supporting free games by buying ancillary items in shops like this. But not when they cost $60 out the gate. This belongs in the free-to-play game, the store. But it's being injected like poison to just siphon a little bit more money from your pocketbook. Because they can. Not only are the prices outrageous, but they're using, like I said, false discount icons to show that you're saving money when you're really not. It's false implied scarcity, which is a malicious tactic used by corporations in the world. And those corporations were places I used to work at. And the reason I quit my job because I was so unhappy was because I was engaging in that kind of marketing and that kind of finance where my job was to extract the most money I could possibly extract from you as the consumer. It's called price gouging. It's making you want to buy items under duress. 
because you feel like they're scarce or they're rare or there's some sort of major discount. So they want to get you in that moment where you're to be like, woo, I got to have this now before it goes away, before it goes off discount or because it's such a good deal. It's 33% off when in fact it's just labeled as 33% off. I mean, gosh, man. So that's issue number one, the false advertising with discounts, which is illegal once again. Issue number two, let's go on, is the outrageous prices for basic cosmetic items in Fallout 76. Look at the prices of these basic outfits. You want a military uniform? Give them $15. Which, by the way, if we're doing things apples to apples, this should be $12 of real money because it's 1,200 atoms. Pushing the discounts to the side, it's basically one to one, right? But no, you can't give them $12 and just buy it directly. You have to buy 500 plus 1,000, which is 1,500 to get that costume. And that's $15. So you're giving them money in excess. They don't care if you get a couple hundred more atoms on the side. It's fake money. What do they give a shit? You gave them a few more dollars, which is exactly why you can't buy anything in this store for the price listed in atoms. You have to go buy the virtual currency and it's inflated to a point where everything requires you to buy this and then this. You can't buy things for what they're worth. It's common in these stores to do that. 500 atoms for a hairdo? That's $5. $5 for a hairdo? That's an insult. So that's problem number two. The prices for these cosmetics are outrageous. And the fact is, in Fallout 76, you don't earn atoms at a reasonable rate post level 30 or 40. There's a huge stalling effect that happens after around level 30. So you don't acquire them at the same rate. Therefore, time starts to slow down and they're banking on you to just hand over money from your wallet instead of the in-game currency. That's basic strategy 101 by Bethesda. I mean, look at this sniper outfit, 15 bucks. That is so ridiculous in a fully priced game. It's insulting again. So that's issue number two. The prices of items are just way too inflated and way too high. I mean, look at this. 1,800 atoms for a paint set for power armor. Can I buy 1,800 atoms again? No. I have to buy 2,000 for 20 bucks. Oh, but there's a 400 atom bonus. Who cares? It doesn't cost them anything. It's free. The third issue is the speculation that these prices have actually gone up over time. And I'm not sure if this is true or not, but some people have speculated this, that items have been going up over time. Is this that the item prices themselves for each individual piece have gone up? Or is it the fact that as new items are introduced with the same type or caliber, those items are going for more? I'm not sure, but either way, very suspicious indeed. And I do get the sensation that things used to be a little bit cheaper last month. Maybe someone in the comment section can uh, confirm that or not. Rocket suit, that seems pretty cool. Give them 15 bucks. Even if we do refrain from purchasing items in this in-game store, what that does in a sense is actually create rarity problems for certain items. You follow me? So let's say if all of us watching this video just do not buy the sniper outfit. No one buys it. What happens to the sniper outfit is that it gets rare because nobody's buying it. Some people will see that as a, a means to want that item because all of a sudden it's a lot more rare than it used to be. So by not participating in the store, we may be inadvertently fueling the fire for some of the demands of these items to go up. That's just theory to chew on though. The bigger issue is the fact that this store is always going to work out for them if people keep putting money into it. Only a minority of people of dedicated hardcore people are required to keep this stuff afloat, even when the rest of us don't participate in it. As they say, a minority of people pays for the majority of people who don't pay. So even if we don't buy anything, there's a chance that the kid with mom's credit card does. The teenager who doesn't know any better does. The Fallout fan who must have everything in the game no matter what will also be one of those people. It just makes me sad because this game was supposed to be incredible, but everything about it just reeks of greed, laziness, bad development, just nastiness. So wrapping things up there, A, making use of false discounts, slogans and tags here for items that were never sold for that list price in the first place, which is pretty much, I believe to be illegal. 
Number two, they've inflated the prices of the items. So much so that buying something will cripple you with the normal atom acquisition. And three, this sneaking suspicion that the prices of these items and the Fallout's Atomic Shop have been going up over time. It's a shame, dude. What else can I say? Get yourself a sleeping bag for five real dollars. It's the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life. It has no bearing in a $60 AAA game, especially one that shit the bed in the way that it did. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I mean, if they put microtransactions on top of all this stuff, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. The industry will blow up. One has to assume at this point that they cannot be this stupid to think we are this stupid to let this shit slide. I mean, are they really that dumb? I would assume not, because I know a lot of people who work there are probably really smart. But for the most part, whoever's running the vision of this, this game and this concept is out of touch with reality and they need to come down from planet Mars. Because this is ridiculous. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys at our next video. You guys take care until then.